What is going on shrimp keepers? This is Rob with Flip Aquatics and today we are checking out Bonnie's fish room uh, which Bonnie, Bonnie has been in the hobby for 50 years. She knows a lot, she's done a lot, she's bred a lot and so we get to see a little piece of her heaven and uh, here's some advice by her so let's go check out her fish room. Now Bonnie, real quick, you've been in this hobby a really long time. So like, if you could give everyone like a little piece of advice, something that has made your hobby better, uh, what, what advice would you give them? Just enjoy your fish. Enjoy it. Just enjoy it. How about in life? How, how'd you make it through life? What would what, what, you live by? Just, just enjoy life too? No, not really. No. <laughs> that is so funny. The fish got you through life, right? Yeah. Okay. I think the fish do get me through life. Do they? Because when you've got problems, you can go down and take care of the fish. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good distraction. Yeah. I know a lot of people that have PTSD from like being over in Iraq or something like that or a car accident and fish for them is like their escape. And so they, they get yeah. into fish and like they forget that they're, you know, they have pain, they forget like, you know, everything they went through over there. And yeah. uh, so it's a, it is a good escape, so that's awesome. Oh, thank you for sharing. Now sure. Bonnie, do you mind being in video at all? I don't care. Bonnie doesn't care. This is Bonnie, this is Bonnie's fish room and her son helps a little bit, but you've been, how long have you been in the hobby? Uh, about 50 years. 50 years, so you're, you're an OG. Original Old guy. No, original <laughs> gangster. <laughs> <laughs> You're the OG in the fish. So Bonnie, room. this is the biggest your fish room's ever been. Yes. Yeah. So it just keeps on growing. Right. Well, when my son's home, he starts helping out. Oh, then it's and easier. Then he says, uh, "Let's do this." <laughs> we have forty tanks. Forty. And it, who does all the water changes? Me. You. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of work. I spend about three and a half hours in the morning and about four in the evening. Every day? Every day. Are you serious? So you basically have a full-time job taking care of fish. I do. Oh my gosh. I love it though. It's so worth it, isn't it? It is. It gives you, it really does give you something to do. And your, I mean, your tanks look awesome. They're all covered. They all have lights on them. And your new thing's uh, rainbow fish, I heard. Rainbow. Rainbows are, are your thing. Yeah. You used to do a lot of angels, though, right? Oh, yeah. But uh, oh, angels these... got too too much. Too much work? Yeah. What are these ones? Uh, pearl scale? Yeah. And then what are they? Um, oh. Chocolates. Are they? They look like the Philippine blues? No. Man, they're gorgeous. Now, did you breed these, or? Yes. Wow. So you've been doing this a long time. What haven't you bred? I don't know. You don't know? There's not much? No. No, are you in the BAP program? Uh, no. No. You should. You just do it for fun. Yeah. Do you go to all the auctions and stuff? Yes, as many as we can. You and your son go? Yeah. Uh, Chris that's wants awesome. to go to the Youngstown thing. Oh, that's this weekend. Yeah. yeah. Go? Is that this weekend? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. I'm not going, but now Dave wants to go, but Chris has got a problem because he's supposed to be in Pennsylvania Monday. Yeah. So he can take uh, Dave there, but he can't. He'd have to come Mentally. all the way back. Oh, so who's Dave? Dave oh my gosh, look how cool these old tanks are. I want to say these are 12 inches wide. Maybe a little bit bigger, maybe 14, 16 inches. What a cool little tank. That's awesome. So she, Bonnie's been doing it for yeah. Over 50 years, so she's got all the good stuff. And then you got some of these really old school tanks. Yeah, we worked with those for quite a while, and then one day I got electrocuted. And that was that. And we've been getting rid of all of this. Well, you can sell them for decent money nowadays. 
Well, I think people are realizing that they either leak or they... Uh, or they'll shock you. Uh, yeah, shock you. <laughs> That's crazy. And that did not feel good. No. no. I went across the room. Oh, so it got you real good. Oh. I'm an electrician, so I've been shocked numerous times. I had the ambulance here. <laughs> wow. How long and ago was that? Oh, about three or four months ago. Ooh. Uh, I had a uh, fire department, and they came and unhooked it for me. Wow, so it, it got you good. Yeah. Yeah, and that uh, that's scary. Yeah, and yeah. you can't let go. No, no, you sit there, and it's it scares you. You think you're going to die. Yeah, because you, well, you don't even think that. All you're, <laughs> you're thinking of like, is, how do I get this hand off there? Oh, my gosh. So how how'd you get it off? It eventually just shot just, you loose? Yeah. Wow, that's scary. Yeah, so metal ones are going away. Well, when you decide to get rid of those little metal ones over there, you let me know. Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll buy them off you. Because I think, I think those are the coolest little tanks ever. Because they just don't make those unique sizes anymore. No, they don't. And especially to find them in the metal frame. Well, I too, oh, oh, these guys my problem gorgeous. is Chris says, oh, I want this one next. <laughs> and he never gets to this one. Yeah, that one got <laughs> left behind in the dirt. And he can just yeah. carry so many tanks of eggs. Yeah. Those are definitely worth doing, though. Those oh, are yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, look how big they are. Now, are these your favorite? Uh, they're all my favorites. They're all? What type of rainbows are these? Uh, Those Marmot? They're, they're called Marcy's. Cold Marcy's? Wow. Yeah, they're solid, what, four or five inches? Yeah. The color. And it, you don't think it's a male and female, or it is? Uh, well, I haven't had any luck in spawning them. I've tried... Uh, feeding them brine shrimp every day for a week. Mm -hmm. Live brine or? Live. Well, I, I make my own, but um, mm -hmm. they don't seem to see the baby brine shrimp. Oh, so you got to get the bigger so stuff. So I use the frozen. Oh, they're gorgeous. Where'd you get these originally from? Canada. Did you? So you go, you travel the world looking for the best rainbows. Uh, yeah, well, we <laughs> yeah. cross country. The, no one knows Canada is what, 30 minutes from here? Yeah. Something like that? But you travel the world looking for the best. Yeah. And this, this is what we you go get. to the auctions hoping to get, get the best. Yes. Oh, yeah. Are there auctions in Canada ever, do you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, there, there is. One oh, yeah. You ever go to them? He used to auction, used to auction them. animals. Did you really? Now, do they still have it if you have a Buffalo driver's license, you can get across the border? We have enhanced border? licenses. Oh, that have like passport built into it? Built into it. You can't travel That's by nice. plane, but by car you can go across. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, I used to do probably six, seven auctions up in Canada every year. Wow. And my dad got, we had my dad, and he wasn't well, so kind of backed off from... Now, where, are your, where are your fry tanks at? Right here. There. Ooh. There's tons in there. I saw those. Now, do you just leave the mop in here and then they just hatch out eventually? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there's one right there. Now, from the time you put the mop in the tank, how long until you pull it out and then... Uh, I give it uh, seven days, seven to ten days. Seven to ten and days? There's nothing in there. Well, oh, okay. put another one in. Got it. And then once you see that there's eggs on it, you put it in here? Yeah. And then you just leave it in there for, what, a yeah. week? Mm -hmm. And sometimes we, uh, a lot of times, we don't even see eggs, but we put it in there and we get a bunch. Just to see. Mm -hmm. So there, sometimes they're just hard to tell that they're there. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Now, what were these? Because I didn't know the name of them. Uh, they're Daffodil Bichardis. Daffodil Bichardis. They're gorgeous. The color in the male is awesome. So you do some a lot, a decent amount of cichlids as well, See, then. Yeah. See, they make a little uh, hole there for the babies. Oh. And there's another one under a plant over there. Oh, yeah. Now, do these ones, do the younger ones take care of the babies? So they're not like, 
Like once they have babies, do they kill off the other babies that were oh, hatched? Oh no, no. So they're all just a big family. Right. And I then as they joy. grow, and we have a available tank, we bring them down here. Okay, kind of just spread them out. Now, I've been seeing these all around your fish room. Yeah. Uh, do you breed these yourself? Yes, they're <laughs> they're so easy to breed. Are they? Once you breed them. Yeah. Uh, then my son takes um, this. All it is is um, well, one a twist tie. Yeah, twist tie. Yep. And bends it. Yeah. And sticks it in the mouth. This way. Oh, yeah. And then strips them right out. And then they start coming out. And now, if they're still eggs. You put it back. But if they're not eggs, the babies come scattering out. Oh, and then what, they just feed just flake food, or do you do the brine shrimp with them? Or? I do brine shrimp with the babies. Do you? Baby brine? Yeah. And you hatch it yourself? Yeah, I got a whole. Wow. Table. Have you ever tried the frozen? Yeah. Frozen baby brine? Oh, I don't like that. No. You, you like hatching it? Yeah. That's awesome. Well, you have 50 years of experience. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is cool. I didn't see these guys. Madagascar rainbows. This is the brine shrimp hatchery? Yeah. Now, is that custom made? No. This is... Uh, I bought it second hand, and I, they're very expensive, but it is well worth it. Is I it? get... Oh, I get tons of it. Do you really? Brine shrimp. So how does it work? Because I've never done brine shrimp before. Uh, you, uh, warm water. Okay. Just tap water? Yeah. And then I have, um, one of these. That's about four tablespoons. Okay. Four tablespoons. Of salt. Uh, sea salt? No, no, no. Uh, salt that has no, um... Oh, non -iodized. Uh, yeah. Non-iodized, okay. Non-iodized, that's it. So it's basically like getting brackish water, right? Yeah. Okay. And then once it's dissolved, the salt, then you put brine trip eggs in it. Okay. And you just dump them right in the top? Mm-hmm. And then how long do they stay in there for? Uh, about a day and a half. Day and a half, and then to feed them. I know that what babies eat the eggs and then they they die. Is that is that true? No, no, no. So you do decapsulated or whatever uh, they're no, called. No, I I do decapsulated if I'm uh, if I haven't got any uh, shrimp here. Oh, okay. But uh, this no, you, what you do is strain it, put cold water oh. on top of it. And then um, put it in warm water, and then feed the fish. Gotcha. Now, what do you use to strain it? Is it? Do you have a little brine shrimp net? Okay, and the eggs will fall right through that, and you'll get the baby shrimp out of there. No, the eggs are up here. Oh, so just the babies are in the bottom. Yeah. Uh, okay. So when you drain this, or when you go to feed, you probably only have to drain a tiny bit of water. Right. To get the babies out. Yeah. That's cool. So you do this every day? Yeah. Nice. And you have great then success have, with it. Then I have this, but I don't care for it. Frankly. No. No, look at this one. This is a good little setup. This gives me a lot more, because it's bigger, and it works beautifully, but it's leaking. Oh, so you got to get that fixed they're, somehow. They're kind of. I've tried, and so has Chris. Uh, all this is um, what do you call it? That uh, jar. Um, well, it's stuff you can use in a tank. Silicone or silicone, whatever. Yeah, silicone. That's uh, awesome. Now, how old is this stuff? Is this about ready to go, or is it uh, brand new? No, uh, tonight or tomorrow morning. Tonight or tomorrow morning. Oh, that is so cool. So, well worth the money. Oh, yeah. How long have you had this one for? Oh, a couple months. A couple months. Oh, so you just got it. 
Yeah, I've been using these. But that is just so much this, better. Yeah, oh, really. I love it. <laughs> this That's one awesome. is an antique. Uh oh. Oh, it's like brass. It's brass and it's got little brass legs. Oh, that is so cool. This is not the top that goes with it. No. Oh, you can't get rid of that one. No. <laughs> if you do, please let me know. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, we went to uh, someone. Uh, put an ad on uh, the computer saying that they had uh, fish tanks and stuff for sale and would we would people come and buy what they wanted yeah for fifty dollars he gave us uh, a carload are you see and it included that uh, it included uh, about 15 tanks heaters galore wow. all, we've got some antique um, things uh, like a little fisherman oh and he God. sits on the edge of a tank uh, but it's so fragile and he said fifty dollars fifty dollars just years. empty it that is empty crazy. the room so well I'll, I'll give you fifty dollars for that no <laughs> not doing it huh no. we uh we were doing shrimp in that were you yeah but then uh we kind of lost our shrimp oh darn it well, I, hopefully I'll be able to help with that tonight. Yeah. Are you coming to the meeting? Yeah. Okay, good. I'll, I'm, my whole talk's on how to keep shrimp. Oh, good. How to keep because, and breed them. Because I keep losing them. Well, we can't have that. I don't want you to give up. You, you, we'll give it one more go, all right? These are um, babies in there. Let me see if I can get a picture up top. You want to lift the top? Yeah. What type of baby are they? They're, they're a cat. <laughs> I think that's it. Where are the parents at? Uh, the parents are in here. In well, here somewhere? Do you see behind me? Oh, there. yeah. What are they just, the, are they the long fin bronze quarry? Yeah, right. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, you got to start getting involved in the BAP. And You'd then, have fun with that. Uh, then there's babies in here, too. But oh, the, what are these, stir by? A stir by, yeah. Yeah. And they're... A couple babies in there. Yeah. Are they little? Very little. Oh, I did see one over there. That's cool. So you're breeding all kinds of stuff. Oh, I see them up front now. Yeah. There's one right there. There's another one right there. So cool. Bye. Thanks for letting us come over and check this out. And these are the ones that just breed like crazy. Yeah. That you can't get them to stop. I love these stands. <laughs> oh, these? Oh, they these are These nice. are the ones that really breed. Which ones are they? Oh, the convicts, huh? No, they're not convicts. Ooh, they're they're not. Um, platinum Honduras Red Points. And they just breed, breed, oh, breed, and breed. Gee. You they <laughs> breed and then we're, we're down to two. And we said, no more. Lord, we're going to get rid of this pair. And then... <laughs> Next morning, there they are, thousands or hundreds, I oh don't know, my God. all over the... <laughs> <laughs> so we've been trying to get rid of them. Oh my gosh. That's funny. Hopefully they don't breed again. Well, I'm afraid they will. They probably will, won't they? <laughs> now, if only you could get these to breed like crazy. Oh, that would be nice. Although there's... You have, what, five big ones in there? And they're all getting along. Yeah, they're they gorgeous. don't breed. And they don't breed. No. Probably a bunch of girls. Or a bunch of boys. You got at least one boy. Two. Yeah, they might all be boys. Darn things. Now, which one's your favorite tank down here? Uh, I think this one. Oh, I didn't even look over here. Oh, some rams. Do you know what type of ram they are? 
Oh, they're gold rams. Gold rams. Yeah. Oh, they're Those pretty. Are beautiful. Where'd you get these from? Don't tell don't tell me China or something. No. I know you travel the world to find the best. No. We <laughs> bought one a couple at the fish place. The fish place? Yeah. And uh, these are the results. Wow. So they uh, they've already bred. Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah, rams are, are a fun one. Oh, and then surprise, surprise. Yeah, more of those. <laughs> what are they, Dementia? Yeah. That is so cool. Some Texas Holy Rock. Very cool. Anything else we missed? No. No, we got it all. I love it. Thank you again.